Marquis, it seemed like you guys got determined to get to the rim a little more, much like you did Sunday night. Was there a determined effort to do that? Uh, yes, because it was definitely an effort to, you know, draw the paint and get easy look for, you know, my teammates. But we knew they was forcing us to one side, and if we would just, you know, attack and make everybody collapse, and it would be open shots all over the place. So we really try to do that as much as possible, and it worked to, to our uh, advantage. It seemed like you guys went up tempo a little bit and got to, got the offense started a little bit. I mean, yeah, I mean, we knew in the beginning uh, they were going to come out and play defense hard on us. Um, we kind of started a little bit at the beginning, then we got we got some, you know, paint touches, kickouts, and then some layups. We got the plan transition a lot, and that's what really played in our favor. Nigel, was the start of this game at all you guys overlooking them or anything like that? Uh, of course not. We, we've learned to never overlook an opponent. Um, we can go back to last year, even though we don't talk about it anymore, but we can, we can go back and what happens if you try to overlook somebody. We take every game as serious as possible. Um, we knew they were a good team, very uh, defensive minded. I mean, they're well coached. Um, it was just another great win for us, though. From your perspective, what makes Marquise so good when he's driving to the basket, both as a scorer and facilitator? I mean, he's just so crafty with the ball. I would say guys got to honor his, his range. I would say so they had to pick up really far out, which is kind of hard to stay in front of somebody when you're 28, 29 feet away from the basket. And then his decision making and his finish around the basket makes him special. And that's what, you know, when guys got to come over and help, that's when he can make the assist. And when guys don't come over, he's able to finish around the basket. So it's kind of like picking your poison with him. Marquis, it seemed like after you took the court when you were down nine in the first half, you like you were kind of um, really determined to erase that lead as quick as you could. What was your mindset during those next few moments? Um, it was just an attack, you know. First, it started with the defensive uh, end where we got stopped. I think we had about eight shutouts in a row, and that's what really got us going because we was able to get easy transition buckets. So uh, there was in a penalty, you know, early, probably like 10 minutes ago, and I was just trying to, you know, drive and make plays for my teammates. Marquise, you know, Tom just listed it off, but, you know, you just got into some nice company as only players to get point and assist double-doubles, two in one season um, with only three other players in K-State history. How does that feel? That's elite company. I mean, uh, I'm playing with a great group of guys, and, you know, there's talent around me. So, you know, it's easy to make them plays when, you know, you got shooters and you got people who's just as talented as you. So that's very good company. Uh, I'm not satisfied. I just want to keep winning and keep building off of this. Nigel, I want to ask you about, you know, what do you think from the the front court has done the last two games to really, you know, improve their game and, and help you guys succeed? I mean, they've been they've been helping us all season. I mean, those are some people that doesn't get as much love as they should. Um, they do all the dirty work for us. Um, they continue to get better each game. Uh, we just got to continue to look for them, and then they just finish it. For sure. Well, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, y'all. <laughs> Any other questions for these guys? Oh, you got, you got the mask for him. Uh, Marquise, what was kind of the biggest catalyst for you guys whenever you, you made that run late? What was the biggest thing that, that, that you feel like changed? Um, our intensity, our grit, um, and our focus on the defensive end, uh, that, that's what really changed. And, once we pick that up and once we do that on a, on a consistent basis, we know that we are a very good team. Uh, we just have to continue to keep doing that through the first four minutes and to end the half. So that's what that's the main distinguishing factor uh, was our grit and our defensive you know, mindset. <laughs> um, yeah, the last one I got for you guys is what is the preparation either of you can answer preparation or what are you going to do in this week off that you guys have, um, you know, <clears throat> to really prepare for Morgan State and for a tough uh, conference schedule ahead? I mean, we all know we're in season now. Um, it's really not time to take some days off. I mean, it's definitely great to be able to go home, see your family a little bit. But I think everybody, one of us, needs to, you know, at least still put in some time, spend some time in the gym getting better because we know how tough this, this conference is. I mean, we all seen the net ratings. Um, it's a really good, tough conference coming up this year. I mean, we got to get ready for it. Uh, we got one more non-conference game, and we're right into to the conference games where the, all the fun starts to happen.